Hi, welcome back to Nostalgia 2 by my old. This is map 20, Purification by Fire. And this is a post commentary because this map was difficult. So at the beginning I run around uh, past those spiders, etc. to grab a plasma rifle and a whole bunch of ammo. And then I immediately push my way up here past these Hell Knights to hit that switch. So that switch provides access to an early BFG, which I believe is optional. Uh, but it also releases an archfile on friends, uh, kind of near where the spider mastermind is. Um, and so to give them a bit of time to kind of get away from the BFG, I deal with these turret revs because they're super irritating and they're not great in fighters. Uh, so yeah, you can see these remnants all kind of hanging around the BFG. I got really, really lucky here with the um, archfile not targeting me. Um, Nice BFG shot to take out two of those spiders. And at this point, I've got a decent amount of infighting going on, so just get rid of the spider mastermind and mostly just clean up revenants um, and that, that imp there. And then grab some Salomo and some rockets and move on. Now, you have to be a wee bit conservative with uh, rad suits in this map. Um, so here is a, a pretty nasty Nakibus trap, um, but again, a couple of decent placed BFG shots and should get rid of most of them. And then just push past these Hell Knights. Um, yeah, so I deal with these two and then grab this red suit here, um, because it's it's the only one in this this area. Um, putting a Putting a bit of sense of urgency on the player. Uh, just a couple of revenants here that sort of easily dealt with. Nice face rocket. There's a secret switch here for blue armor, but I don't grab it till later because I want it for the final fight. Um, again, a couple of decent BFG shots for Kakos should get most of them. And you can rocket down the Mancubus and remaining Kakos. And I'm trying to I'm trying to rush away back because I want to keep use of the rad suit that I've got. So I'm not going to bother with those enemies for now. I'm just going to rush straight over for the yellow door. And so this area is interesting. Is, um, I think it's meant to be done in a, as a couple of fights, but I basically just rush straight up here, kind of BFG my way up here, and hit that switch, which reveals this second spider mastermind and then hide behind this pillar. Uh, this is a whole bunch of enemies down on the ground. Um, but step out just long enough to get the spider, spider demon kind of trying to shoot you away and it will hit everything except you. And then get a big old in-fight party going on. Um, need the spider mastermind dead because the blue, blue key is sitting on that platform behind her, which is um, good, good luck trying to trying to get to it without <laughs> while she's still alive. Um, so yeah, just sort of take pot shots at anything that's not in fighting. Um, trying to conserve BFG here as well because I want to keep that for the final fight. Um, and so even with all that in fighting going having gone on, I only killed a small handful of the enemies. Um, I still end up shotgunning the um, spider mastermind down. So, not the most exciting gameplay. Um, I guess you could use VFG, but like I said, you really want it for the final fight. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what the best strategy here is. Um, but, like it there doesn't take too long to get rid of her. Only a handful of shots. There we go. Yeah, we get some Selimer, the blue key. Um, again, there's a sort of single red suit in this area and just running around collecting ammo and making sure that no enemy is left alive. Uh, so now that I've got the blue key, which is for the final fight, I'm going to first go and clean up these spiders and things that I left behind. Um, failing to dodge as always. Uh, these candles are really annoying. They're sort of placed a little bit out from sort of wall decorations and things, and it's easy to get snagged on them. 
Uh, I think I had a handful of deaths just getting stuck on um, candles. Um, so this area is just for getting a super shotgun, uh, so you can come up here right at the beginning and get the SSG, but I don't bother because you also get a BFG very early on, um, so it doesn't really seem worth it, and it's quicker to go there when you've got a rocket launcher uh, to, to speed up the dealing with those enemies. Alright, so here I'm going back just collecting health and going for that blue armor, because I'm about to go into the final fight. and. You may have seen this Soul Sphere as well, uh, right at the beginning that I left there, so leaving it allows me to go uh, in that rad suit as well, so I'm going fully stacked into this final fight. And the strategy here is to quickly get rid of these revenants on this side, and then move my way down to get rid of these Mancubi, and, and just kind of <laughs> world's most efficient BFG usage, taking out a single imp there. Uh, so this area is difficult because there's a single red suit and the only health is a soul sphere on the other side. Uh, but there's an arch vial over there as well, uh, guarded by a whole bunch of enemies. So trying to run for that soul sphere generally gets you zapped. Um, so you're on a time pressure because you've got a max of sort of two minutes uh, from a red suit on the way in and this this one you have here, but. Uh, the limitation on health means that this fight can go kind of south really quickly. Um, just sort of, you can just take a heap of damage kind of immediately. Um, it makes the fight very difficult. And one wants to left, which is this awkwardly placed cyber demon. Um, I'm not even bothering trying to uh, efficiently use tracers there. Um, you know, fall, falling off the, the mountain due to nerves. Um, don't know why I'm picking up Salem or I don't, don't need it. Uh, but you've got to climb up this mountain to hit the exit switch and then you can leave. So yeah, this map was um, was pretty tough. The The opening can go wrong pretty quickly with the Spider Mastermind and the especially releasing the vial. The, the vial can kind of wander off or um, can sort of insta-target you sometimes. Uh, I've had attempts where the vial just stood right on top of the BFG, making it impossible to get to. Um, and other times with the spider demon in the central area, we just go down sort of instantly and leave a whole bunch of revenants and an arch vial running around. Um, similarly, the blue key fight with that spider mastermind, it's, it's quite easy to um, just sort of get torn to bits on the way, like trying to rush in there. Uh, or um, sometimes it, it just won't in fight very well. Um, and you end up like wasting a whole bunch of ammo trying to get rid of enemies there and that final fight is super difficult and is also several minutes into the map um, but I, I had a couple of attempts where I drop into that final fight and just got sort of obliterated instantly um, so I uh, ended up recording this one uh, without uh, just, just as a demo and then uh, did the post commentary but hopefully it was still enjoyable to watch and thank you for watching